Skokie, Illinois. It's just outside Chicago. And this is where I grew up. I could tell there were things about my dad that were different. I would ask my dad why I don't have any grandparents. Why don't I have any aunts or uncles? Why don't I have any cousins? The older I got, the more I realized there were secrets in our family. And discovering those secrets became almost like an obsession to me. My name is Frank Collin. I am the party leader of the National Socialist Party of America. Death to the Nazis! Death, death, death! 25 or 30 members of a ragtag Nazi party in Chicago want to parade through Skokie. And something started to happen in Skokie. I didn't know it at the time, but my father's past was right in the middle. My children were unaware. They had no any detail of my being, you know, in the concentration camp. I was very sick, very weak. When I was liberated, I weighed about 65 pounds. I never in my wildest dream could I have imagined to come back, especially with my son. It is almost unimaginable that a survivor who has gone through the experience of the Holocaust can find a safe place and suddenly have the word Nazi uttered in their midst, right down their streets. Unimaginable. The nightmares were always there, but if there was a touch, smell, a word, anything would bring it back. I think I now understand what this means to Dad to be able to confront the secrets that refuse to fade away.